Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi menu tutorial. This one is going to be easy, just like all of our other ones, and I'm going to show you how to add little vertical lines between your menu items. So some people like to do this, it adds a nice accent. So we're gonna show you how to do it with the menu module and also with the default Divi header. So let's get started, show you how to do it. Okay, so this is one that someone asked me to do, and I thought, hey, why not? That's a good idea. This can be kind of a little cool accent that you can use, adding vertical divider lines between your menu items. So I am going to show you in the Divi menu module, which I have one here on my page that I'm going to be working with, and then with the regular menu, and I'll just, that's what I have up here, I'll just use that. So I am going to start with the menu module. Now, if you're on YouTube, you need to open up the blog post that's linked down below. So first of all, let's start here with the menu module and grab the snippet that we have here. All right, and by the way, if you like this green color, you can see that in one of our other videos, how to make the highlight color green. But anyway, <laughs> that was a fun one. Let's go over here to our website. I'm going to be going into the page settings right here in the advanced tab, custom CSS. So I'm pasting that right here and we're done. So <laughs> that was easy. Um, I kind of did the work for you, but I'm going to explain that you may need to adjust this a little and you, you probably want to adjust it because I, for one thing, have it green and I also have adjusted the spacing. So you may have noticed that when I add that, you see how they were spread out? Um, I mean, you can adjust the spacing. Maybe you just want to do that and not have borders, fine. Um, basically what we're doing, we're targeting the menu module with both of these. We say ETPB menu, all right? And then we're targeting the list items, all of the menu items, but not the last one. You'll notice how it says border right. I have it one pixel wide and it's green. But notice that it's not over here. That's because I said, all of the list items, but not the last one. So that's a little trick. There you learn something new um, for that. That's a really fun CSS thing that you can use a lot of different times. So basically we're adding a border to the right side of all of these, except the last one. Uh, then the spacing, we this, this you could adjust. So let's say, I mean, I'm just gonna, I don't know, throw in some numbers. See, then it makes it high like that. Um, you could adjust the width. Or yeah, the spacing that way. Yeah, and you'll have to play around. And you can remember with padding, you have top, right, bottom, left. So you know, play around. What I thought looked good was uh, four and twenty. So four would be top and bottom, and then twenty left and right. And that about does it. And of course, you could even make this two pixels. See that? I don't know. Go crazy on it. Just you know, you can do anything like that. And then you could adjust the padding. And of course, change the collar here to your own preferred hex collar. All right, so that's kind of similar to what we're gonna do with the other one. Now this, again, is the menu module. You would wanna use this probably with the theme builder. So we're gonna go up here and do the one for this here. And I only have two items, but it'll just be one border, but that'll work. So let's go grab the snippet for that. Now this one is a little different. It has different CSS classes targeting it. So that's why it works for this default Divi menu, the one not using the theme builder. Okay, so here we go. Go into the advanced tab again, the custom CSS. I'm just gonna put it down below here. All right, and now this one was a little different, but you have to adjust a couple more things with this one. Um, you can see that it's working fine. You can see the one, the one there. It's not the best example with just one, but you get the idea. It's that same thing where I'm not doing it on the last item. I have the border right, but then I have margin bottom. And the reason I had margin bottom is by default, the, the default menu comes with 33 pixels of padding bottom. So what we did down here is change the padding bottom to four. See down here? And that's on the link. Notice we're targeting the A, which is the link. So we're saying, you know, targeting the top navigation, the list of menu items, the menu item, and then the link. And we're saying we want the padding bottom to only be four. Because if I didn't do that, 
see how it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work right because it goes down. And then if I didn't add the margin, that's how it's going to look by default. Well, that's not good. So that's why I added that margin and that padding. And then this padding left is kind of the similar to the other one, but see how it's, see how it's adding that spacing. I'm not sure what the default is for that. I think it's like, it actually might be 22 or something. And it depends. It looks a little different when you have a drop down icon, but there you go. Play around with those numbers, but this is the gist. This will get you to what you need it to be. And then you can adjust it and fine tune it there. And with both of these, um, I like to put this in the theme options so that it affects the entire site. So we do have a tutorial on where to add code. Let's grab that. So this tutorial is kind of our go-to one and it basically gives you, well, it gives you a couple of things, the CSS hierarchy, which I'm, I think I'm the only person that's ever talked about that. Um, but it's really important when you're doing CSS. But anyway, the, the places you would want to put code, like I do it on the page because I can see it live. Like you saw that I did this right here in my page settings and I saw it live, but I wouldn't want to keep it there. I'd want to take it and go over here to the theme options. I would most likely want to come in here to Divi theme options and uh, scroll down here to the bottom and paste it in here. And then it's going to affect everywhere on our site. All right. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to add those menu divider lines. So that's kind of a nice little accent you can do there. Hope you enjoy that. And again, let me know um, what you want to see next. Do you like things like this? And I do have some ideas for things that are a little more along the lines of design and style. A lot of times I've been doing functionality, especially with the header and the menu. Um, but if you like things that um, are along the lines of style, like don't forget I have those 101 Divi menu animations that you can check out and download for free. So check those out. That's kind of along the same line. So kind of let me know what you want to see. I enjoy hearing your feedback and I enjoy replying to everyone that comments. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next video.